We're looking for players that are setting the line, manipulating the forecheck, um, our middle support, and then popping pucks into space. All right, here we go. So right away, the puck's in the corner. We've got some off-puck defensive skating and then um, a butt to hands in the corner to eliminate that guy's stick. The guy on the wall is going to set the line, make sure that he's available in the open ice, and we just pop the puck into that space. You can see his head's up. He's already scanning to see what's available. It's not a perfect play, but he's out of the zone. Okay, next clip, weak side D retrieval. Already we've got a stick lift. Our strong side D is getting beat here, but a quick little stick lift to interrupt the play. A second stick lift on the way back, and then right through his hands to eliminate his stick. Right, change of direction here, and then using that contact to push off. So anytime you skate in front of someone's hands, they generally put their hands up on your back and they push, using that push to continue your pathway. And then a little bit of defensive skating behind the net there. Okay, here's another one, a stick left on the way back into the zone. This is not a skill that you see a lot of players using. Okay, skates through his hands once, creates a gap on the wall, through his hands again, and escapes to the wall, and then is gonna push off of this contact. And you'll see as he comes up the ice, all this space in the middle, that's where the puck can go to be able to create that offense going up ice. Another weak side D retrieval here. Okay, we've got a stick lift with some controlled skating. He's not racing to get this puck so he can get crushed on the wall. He invites the contact. He knows exactly where that contact is and how he can make that next play. Again, not perfect. They're coming off of a change here. So we've got a forecheck threat happening. It comes back. We're scanning. Don't mind the, couldn't get the text off the bottom there. Well, we're inviting the contact along the wall here. This time he does get hit, but he moves the puck as he takes that contact. And instead of rimming a puck up the wall, we draw on two four checkers and put pucks into space in that bottom quadrant so we can skate up ice through the middle. Okay, another one, scanning off of this battle. He's pushing off this contact. And you'll see the, weak side, or the strong side winger here ready for this pass as, as it comes off the wall. Golf club grip, extending out into, and po popping that puck into space, and we're already scanning as we go up ice here. Quick step to the outside. We've got support in the middle. It doesn't end up being a perfect play, but out of the zone and going through on offense. Okay, again, I told you this would be fast. We're scanning. We're turning our toes to draw our four checker in. As soon as our toes look like we're going behind the net, usually a four checker is going to turn their toes too. Quick little escape to the wall, and then we've got center support through the middle. All right, now we're back on, we're on to Edmonton, so we move on from the Leafs here. Okay, quick scan, we've got a stick lift or an attack underneath stick. You see the center is right in the blue paint here. All the way back, toes going downhill to see which way it's gonna go and where they're needed for support. Those wingers were coming in a little bit off the wall too. Um, okay, here we go, this is Toronto PWHL. We've got a scan happening. We're gathering information, forecheck is coming. Our center is ready in the blue paint. And instead of just turning and making the easy play, she's gonna gather speed underneath. There was a chance for a cutoff there that didn't happen. Okay, golf club grip, and we're out of the zone. This puts their F3 in a lot of trouble because she's gotta turn from a defensive position. Um, we've got some more cutoffs happening here defensively. This is our center now in the battle, and you can see our weak side D is actually available to join the rush. And you're gonna see a second cutoff here. She's going to the bench for a change. This is a habit. Right, I know Coach Ben was talking about habits in practice. That's a habit. She's tired. She's going to go to the bench, uh, but she does a cutoff to give her teammate a little bit of time to enter the zone here, uh, and we're able to break out of the zone. Okay, that was fast. I told you it was going to happen fast. Um, normally, I would pause that, and I would talk through some of those clips, but my clicker doesn't let me do that, so uh, you may have to go back and look. All right, so I just threw four different concepts at you with a whole bunch of details, and a lot of times when we go to clinics like this, um, I find anyway, when I go to coaching clinics, there's a lot of really great information, but then it's never really um, taught how, how would you teach that information. So how would you get into um, teaching a, a toe turn defensive play or popping pucks into space and the number of reps that go with it? Um, so these are four things that I would do if I was working with a minor hockey team, but also these are things that we're doing with our pro team um, on a daily basis. So. Anytime you wanna teach a new concept, come up with a drill and let them run it. See where they're at before you start adding too many details. So if you get up at the board and you run a really simple drill but you add six details you wanna see, they're gonna be so busy thinking about the details that they're probably not gonna get that comfortable with the drill.